say this, that African Americans need to get out of their emotions. Uh, the president is supporting Hillary Clinton, a person who has the FBI crawling all over her. She has uh, at least two to three open criminal investigations with the FBI. Now, I wish the president would stand up for Pookie and Shantae and black people and Hispanics when the Department of Justice is breathing down our doors and when it's in our cities and when it's in our homes. So my thing is this. You've got to think about what they're going to say anything to get your vote. That's what the D Democratic Party does. They come in, they shuck and jive, they dance, they put on any win any winning performances, and then they don't do anything in the community. But Donald Trump is saying $100 billion I'm to sorry, inner city. But, but Brunel, one of the things I'm hearing in the, in the president's message to African Americans, sure. not only the, that they could be wasting their vote by not voting, I'm not, sorry, the double negative there, but that you're really wasting it if you go for Trump. Um, so how do you, when you go back to African Americans, explain to them, uh, well, on this, the president's wrong. What do you say? What I would say is this. I challenge my African American Americans and Latino Americans, go into your inner cities. If you really want to know what the president has done in the last four to eight years for inner city blacks and Hispanics, go into your inner cities. Look your fellow Americans in the eyes who are hopeless and hurting and crying and feel left behind. If you believe your fellow American deserves to live like that another four to eight years under Hillary Clinton, who is under federal investigation, then you vote for Hillary. But if you believe that your fellow American deserves the right to the American dream, they deserve the right to that hundred billion over the next eight years, they deserve the right to school choice, they deserve the right to be treated better than second class citizens in their own country, get out of your emotions. Vote for your fellow American to have jobs and better education and a, a bite at the American dream. Don't fall for the Emmy winning and Oscar performances. Go out there and vote for your fellow American to live a good, great life. Like the president has worked hard for illegal aliens and refugees to live. We want a president that puts Americans first, not illegal aliens, not refugees. We want a president who's going to put our military first, our economy first, our NAFTA deal, schools first. We want a president that, that's going to fix the infrastructure of our country. And we all know from our souls that Hillary can't do that, especially given the fact that she's got those FBI investigations all over her. She is unfit. She needs to step down. We need a president in office who's a doer and a builder, and that is Donald J. Trump. Holy cow.